hey guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another long awaited home tour video in this video i am showing you my glam style kitchen tour i'm going to pan around and show you everything in full and then i'll come back like i always do and show you where i got everything and let you know all of the details so stay tuned and thanks so much for watching guys Okay guys, let's get into the island. I knew when I purchased this property that I needed to have an island and this one fit the bill. I love it so much. And I got my counter height bar stools. I got them from overstock.com. Actually, they were a gift from my parents. They were a housewarming gift. I love the acrylic look of them and the chrome legs. They look very modern. And I really like the fact that they did not block the sight line. Next up on my island, and I do like to keep my island pretty clear. I don't like it really cluttered, but I do always burn a Bath & Body Works candle. And I have two play settings. The um, place mats are from TJ Maxx, and of course the Spruzo chargers are from Z Gallery. The napkins are from TJ Maxx also, and then the napkin ring match my dining room napkin rings, and they are from Target from the Threshold brand. Okay guys, let's get into these glam pendant lights. When I saw them, I had to have them. They are a showstopper and a definite conversation starter. They are from the Home Depot and they are part of the Home Decorators Collection and I paid $60 for each one. Okay guys, so I do have all stainless steel appliances in this kitchen. I was fortunate enough to have these installed before I purchased the place. They came with the place and they are um, the Whirlpool brand. I've never had any issues with them. I use my refrigerator obviously every day. I use my stove, my microwaves, and my dishwasher quite frequently and I have never had any issues with these appliances. I like the sleek look of them and I love the fact that I did not have to pay for them separately. Okay, so on the side of my refrigerator, I just keep a few magnets of places that I've traveled to on vacation and my newest magnet, my baby girl's birth announcement down there on the right. Um, I keep my paper towels to the right of my oven and then I just keep a spice rack. Um, these jars came from the gallery. I keep tea and hot chocolate in them. I have my Keurig, my Southern Keto cookbook, and then I put my dish detergent and some hand lotion on a cake stand that I got from the Target dollar spot along with a small artificial plant that I got from Marshalls for just a couple bucks. Um, I thought that was a cute way to display them. On the left side of the faucet I have a ring holder. Sometimes um, I wear rings and I need to put them somewhere where I, when I wash dishes. And then on my cabinets, I do like to keep my cabinets very clear. I do have my air fryer because the air fryer is life and my knives. And I also have an alarm system um, there. But I love to display my glam backsplash. Again, this backsplash and these counters with specks of, um, I don't know what that is in them. They are beautiful though. And they were here, of course, when I purchased the place. So I don't have a link to them or a name for them. But my counters have like specks of sparkles in them. And I absolutely love them. The flooring as well um, was installed back in October, I believe. And I'll leave a link to that below. And I love the fact that I have extra storage in my island. I mean, this island comes in handy whenever I host. I just put all of the food on top of the island. I love my cabinet hardware. I love these pools. They were here when I purchased this place. And I absolutely love the glam factor. Over to the 
the left of my kitchen um, my right your left and this is my eat-in area and I designed this um, space to be functional because this is where I primarily eat if I'm not at the island um, the table over here is from um, house.com and I think I paid like maybe a hundred bucks for it um, the four dining chairs are the Z Gallery Charlotte dining chairs these chairs are very very pricey however I purchased all four of them from a seller on market or on Facebook marketplace um, and I paid 600 for all four which was a steal I love um, the chair pull ring at the back of the chairs they are so classy and so glam I love the nail hood trim on them I, I just love the color the, the the gray color it is beautiful and I get tons of compliments on these chairs Now I opted to do a low profile um, place setting at this table again because I'm constantly moving this stuff so that my, me and my guests can eat here. Um, so the placemats are from, I believe I got them from Home Goods. They were like $8 each. Um, the white plates are from the Dollar Tree. The silver platinum napkins are from Z Gallery. I made the centerpiece from um, just Dollar store flowers and also flowers from Michaels and then that um, they said it's in came from the Target dollar spot now this wall I painted this wall myself um, an accent gray and it actually matches an accent wall that is in my dining room which is of course open concept so you can see it from this space the large fork and the spoon are from Pier one I paid a hundred dollars each for them on clearance and these two large paintings everyone always asked me where these came from and these came from home goods they were fifty dollars each the letters EAT um, I got those from Michaels they were a cardboard uh, material and I just spray painted them white and I also have a deep freezer over in the corner just for extra goodies for my family the chandelier I purchased from Amazon I believe I paid about hundred dollars for it it takes five um, bulbs and I just love it um, it is a globe or a sphere and it's rather large and I love the way that it hangs over the table and it illuminates this area I also love the illumination lines that it puts on my ceiling in this space the window treatments I purchased from home goods Now this stainless steel trash can, I had to have a stainless steel trash can to match the stainless steel appliances obviously in my home. Actually this was a housewarming gift from a prior uh, property that I had and it was purchased from Home Depot and it was about $120 but I absolutely love it. It's held up very well, it's withstood the test of time and it just still looks very very good. So I'm going to give you another pan around of the full kitchen and then I will insert some still photos for you to enjoy at the end. But thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.